I'm pleased to say that Emma Brown is a Just Stop All spokesperson. You joined me last week, Emma. You're back again, miss. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for having me on again, Sangeeta. Can I just clarify something with you? The protester that we saw at George Osborne's wedding yesterday, was that action carried out by Just Stop Oil? No, um, we are. We, we plan things pretty carefully. Um, people aren't allowed to just go off and do actions. Um, and so that person wasn't anything to do with us. Um, yeah. And what was your reaction to that protest when you saw it? Well, I just, to be honest... Do you so endorse you, it? To be honest, Sangeeta, I think it's someone throwing confetti at a wedding, whatever colour it is. We don't even know if it was a protest or not. I don't find it super disturbing. I think the fact that George Osborne's policies have contributed to 300 and is it 330,000 excess deaths and the destruction of our support services in the UK, I think that's, you know, that's more important than, than what happened. Well, are you, the problem here is this. Yesterday, Just Up Oil, the account retweeted, allegedly, video of that action, and it made it look as though your organisation was endorsing it. Did you retweet it? And if so, why? We did retweet it, Sangeeta, because what we're doing is not a joke. When we disrupt matches, you know, when we... Hang on a minute, you've just stop. distanced when yourself. We... Hang on, hang on, hang on. That, that answer no, actually makes no sense. What I'm saying is sense. really important because what I'm saying, Sangeeta, please let me finish my point, it's so important, is if we can get media coverage without people having to go to prison, then we will do that. So if we retweet a, 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 a video of a lady throwing orange confetti and it means I can get onto your programme and ask you, Sangeeta, do you support expansion of new oil and gas? Um, then I'll do that, then we'll do that. Okay. Because it's harmless. We are non-violent and we will not hurt anybody. And the person who did this was non-violent. They didn't hurt anybody. Okay. So that is the important thing that we need to get across. Emma, I'm trying to just pin down the facts. You have, at the beginning of this interview, said that that was not a protester who was part of your organised action. So my question to you is, given, and we have seen this on our phones over the last few hours, there has been a huge backlash against what that protester did because it was deemed by many people as going a step too far because it wasn't disrupting a public event, it was actually disrupting a private event. So my question to you is, on one hand, you say that that action was not part of your organisation, yet you went along as an organisation and then retweeted that action. Do you accept that it could be doing your um, organisation a huge amount of damage. I just completely disregard the framing. This is a this is a story that the media has created. It's you know, not a media creation because you retweeted it from your account, which you just confirmed. Do you accept that by retweeting that private action, which you say it was, you could in the long run be damaging your own reputation? No. That despite the fact we have now probably got a full board of people, in fact I'm looking at them now, saying that they are incredibly disappointed that that's something that you did because that was a step too far because whilst there is plenty of public sympathy for you disrupting public events where you may, by your own um, argument, uh, raise the profile of um, the climate crisis, when it comes to disrupting private events like a wedding day, you Sangeeta, are actually I, damaging. You are actually a lot. hang on, hang on, hang on. You are, a lot to you're, try and just to try I, and. Uh, you've and just asked me to allow. Outrage. You've just asked me to allow you to finish your point. What's the point just in me ask, coming on? We, the point in the point in retweeting that was for the massive amount of media attention that we've got, which wasn't putting um, protesters' liberty at risk. And the person who did this, they threw confetti. Is this really confetti gate? Is that where the stage that we're at? Is all is all attention good right attention? Now, is Did all attention? Good attention. The equivalent of digging up bombs. My grandfather is from Jamaica. Six times more children are being displaced by storms in the Caribbean. This is not acceptable. And the reason why, have you looked at what the suffragettes did, Sangeeta? Have um, you looked Emma, at what the is, suffragettes Emma, did? Is all attention... this, is, this is throwing confetti at a wedding. Emma, is, are we really talking just about that? Just answer the simple question. Are we really talking about that? We're yes. not on the precipice is right now. Is all attention good attention, Emma? Sangeeta, I'm not in charge of the North Sea Oil Authority. Can tactics, can what tactics backfire? Does? Can what tactics backfire? Does? Yes or no? It's a simple question. There is, a, there is absolutely zero evidence 
there is so much evidence that disruptive tactics work. You, you even started the phone in on, are you losing support for Just Stop Oil? Not, do you support... I then went on demand, and I then went on and outlined the, the conclusions of the Climate Change the Committee. Demand, I then this went on not, to talk about marine scientists right warning now. about parts of the North Sea. I then went on and talked about uh, the UK talking about the symptoms, missing Sangeeta, and you're talking about its the climate change not goals. Doing what supposed to be doing. And I'm Please asking a really simple answer. question. No, you're asking, you, you've given us the climate science. You've given us the fact that the government are doing nothing. What you're not giving us is what ordinary people can do to change that. So now you're angry that I'm putting forward the fact Acts around climate change, protest. Emma. It makes now you seem to be very angry at me because I'm putting forward the very arguments that you say that journalists don't. No, no, and no, when no, no, I no. do, there's you're there's shouting no at me there's, on national no, radio. I'm I find not it extraordinary. At you, there's no point. There's no point. There's well, no point telling people how bad it is and telling them that their government are doing sweet f all about it there's no point in telling people that if you don't tell them what they can do about it what they can do about it is effective protest effective protest raises the attention puts pressure on the government and is unignorable and there's there's research there's so much research that disruptive action works it doesn't matter if people don't like us the emotional reaction is important because the most important the climate crisis is not a technical issue right now it's a social issue and it's an issue that we are being allowed to ignore there's people that cannot ignore it and and that's why I just find it like profoundly upsetting that you know that we you know like we move we move on the conversation. That's what happened. We move on the conversation. We've moved it on from soup and sunflowers. That was outrageous. Confetti gate. Someone throwing orange confetti at a wedding to a man that was responsible potentially for three hundred thirty thousand deaths. I just think it's ridiculous when you Emma, look at the history. Emma, you are a you are an organisation of protest. Yes. Yes. Right. There's a social you, movement trying to create social and political right. change. In order, in order for protest answer. to work, not only do you have to be able to protest in a way that raises your profile, you also have to be able to protest in a way that garners wide-scale public support. Because it is only through that that you are able to persuade people so to you, vote, okay. hang on, to vote for what political about, parties that may be that? in sympathy with your aims. Do you accept no, I, that? I, I disagree with the framing of that, Sangeeta. Did the, suff the suffragettes had a wide-scale bombing campaign that the government, after the First World War, didn't want that to start up again and had to agree to their We are, na this, we are now living in a very different age to I'm that in which I'm, the suffragettes you're, you're, were protesting. You're phrasing history in an incorrect way. The AIDS campaigners... I, I'm you know, not the they, one making comparisons with the suffragettes, Emma. You are. Let yeah, me well, ask you, just, you a simple well, question. Let me ask you a simple Ghana, question, which is the question I'm support. asking the listeners. Do you believe that your tactics are at the point where they are garnering more support than they are losing when it comes to the public? I think we're, we've got to a stage now with our tactics where the media are running out of being able to come up with reasons to discredit us. They are not able now to discredit the, the, what we're asking I'm not for. discrediting so you. I'm continue. trying to do an interview with they you continue. and you keep shouting no, no, at me. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've come on your, your programme to answer your questions. Right. So, so answer this question. Do you believe that Just Stop Oil's tactics... You and asked the copy me the same question uh, last week. There is zero no, evidence no, no. that this is not working. And there the, is more evidence that disruptive tactics do work. Well, and there's, been a, there's been a material working. change, hasn't because there? Lewis Hamilton's in the just way come in out which, in support of what we're Yeah, the man who rides around in a, a private jet. Well, well, we Are you go, why is it that you're picking him? Uh, if, if you're going to choose anyone to support you, I wouldn't suggest Lewis Hamilton, the man who has made his business, uh, his career in fact, to drive around uh, in cars and who uses a private jet to get around. Is he really the person that you want why? Why as, as an emblem against? of the why? Green why? Movement? Why? You why raised him, so now I'm asking you a question as a result of that, Emma. Demand? Do you not support our demand? Why are you using that <sighs> against me? I don't understand. I'm a 32-year-old woman that used to work in a library and that is doing this because I'm really worried. I don't understand why you're using examples like this about carbon footprints. This is a massive distraction from the issue. The issue is we need our governments to act. We need them to stop issuing new oil and gas licenses because it's an act of genocide. And so everything else is a distraction. Confetti is a distraction. Any any distraction that gets our attention on what is important... Confetti is a distraction, you say, and yet you retweeted it from the Just Stop Oil account. Account, which would and lead I'm people to believe that would allow, lead people, people to believe like that you endorse that, that those tactics. True. And the heart of this conversation is 
Do you think you've reached a tipping point with your action? Yes or no? It's as simple as that. Do you think you're still winning over public support? It is a legitimate question that for some reason you're just not prepared to answer. I don't understand this idea that we had massive widespread support when, in, in October, when we threw tomato soup on a painting. Well, it's a shame really that you didn't stay listening soup. last week, actually, Emma, because, in fact, I would say, on balance, the number of callers we had saying that they supported your action at everything from the Chelsea Flowers Show right through to the ashes is something they supported. This lady's action, which is throwing confetti, which is non-violent, you're using that lady's action, which has nothing to do with us, to phrase this phone in to, to, to somehow make us look bad. Because, I don't understand it. I really you, don't understand so, it, Sangeeta. If you support... Well, if you let me explain it, I'm happy to explain it. Because I don't know what else we can do. This is the difference. Please support us. This is what the difference. Are, what we are the doing is, is not for is our that own George, benefit. That George Osborne's wedding was a private event. George Osborne is a conservative thing, minister that, that, that scrapped environmental policies. It was that would have saved people a private event, pounds. and yet... Um, where that you you do seem to be making inroads in terms of public opinion would be around well, big public events. According to events. you, Sangeeta, according to your ideal, like, this is a long term. It's not my ideal. I'm I'm trying to convey to you the way listeners to a national radio station have been reacting to you, and it's a shame that you weren't able to come on and engage this time, Emma. It's a real disappointment to me because it's a actually, disappointment to me actually, that the media are using this to to somehow create more outrage like i don't know what you want me to do you want me to condemn a lady through orange confetti well, you're clearly not going to condemn her because you, you've made it clear that you don't condemn but her it's non-violent and you it's also seem to believe that this is something that's going to win you support convention. but we're going to find that out over the course of the hour uh, emma brown uh, is from just stop oil and a spokesperson thank you very much indeed for your time um